Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we've jumped systems, we're now at Gatekeeper. It was only 16 days away, but we've got 14 days before our financial report. We had a run-in with um, uh, some bandits on the way over here and Spoiler got uh, injured. But, you know, he's not going to be doing any fighting anyway, so that's fine. Um, let's have a look at the mech bays real quick. So nothing has really changed. We've got our two dire wolves here. This guy here, uh, the lone wolf, um, we've got him repaired in back. Uh, but I want to try and get some Goss gear for this guy before we decide to do anything with him. Now we do have to do the, the three um, rotary AP uh, large bore Goss rifles here. Um, but I want to find some more Goss stuff to make take full advantage of the uh, plus 20% damage um, fire control system hag here. So the plus 20% Goss rifle um, damage, plus two accuracy with Goss rifles, minus one, minus one recoil with Goss rifles. I want to take full advantage of this thing if we can. So I want to find some more Goss gear uh, before we go ahead and put this guy together. Um, those uh, rotary weapons are only 390 meter range, which isn't too bad. I mean, it is kind of a medium range weapon, uh, but with a good pilot, um, we'll definitely get better range, 10, plus 10% 10 per range on it. So it's like, you know, what, 430 meters, which isn't too bad. Um, but I want to get a bigger or larger Gauss rifle on here too to get so we can get a range weapon going. Um, so that's the goal for this guy. This guy we'll have to worry about when we get a chance to um, uh, get some C-bills to get him repaired and up and running. Um, I have decided that we're going to keep all of the mechs as they are. Uh, we're not going to we're not going to flush any of the mechs out. I know our our uh, finances are. Um, running into problems here so we're gonna have to focus on getting some missions done where we can actually get a lot of sea bills so let's have a look here uh, at the command center so on this planet this is a four skull world so we've got a lot of missions we can do and we're not going to drop everybody for some of these lower ones we're going to go uh, and do uh, probably like five mech lances so we're going to take these two missions today uh, I'm going to start off with intelligence agent, it's just a recovery, grabbing somebody out of a wolf facility. And then we're going to take C cease and desist for Clan Jade Falcon, because I want to start getting their rep up a little bit. Um, I want to be able to, when we jump systems, to be able to take at least four skull missions if we can for them. So we'll have more options. Um, and if we can battle back and forth between them and wolf, that'll be great. So I'm going to avoid taking missions against them on this planet. Unfortunately, there's several here that are against Jade Falcon. So We'll see how it goes. Like Pony Express is a great example of a mission that's against Jade Falcon that we can get some really good salvage out of, but I don't know. I'm just going to hold off, and if we have to take it, we'll take it. Uh, okay, so let's start off with Intelligence Agent. Let's negotiate this. Uh, we're going to go full salvage, obviously. Going against Clan Wolf. So we're going to go... Uh, we want to take the Primary Lance on this one? We could. Who do we have left over then? Grand Summoner Prime. Grand Summoner, we have we would have five for the next mission. Which, yeah, I think I don't think they're gonna have turrets on this mission. So for the next, the other mission I think is a destroy base, right? Am I mistaken? Uh command center real quick. Just double check before we do this here. Wolf Laboratory Destroy Base, yeah. So that one will go with five. Uh no, I want the store. I picked up some heavy Gauss rifle ammo ammo at the store this time. So we have a heavy Gauss rifle, so I'm planning on trying to implement that. We just need more ammo for it. Uh, so let's accept this. And we're going to go with the primary lance. Let's just do this. I think this will be fine. Alright, let's do this. I don't know if we're going to go after both uh, data and... Um, oh, this is a map. Oh yeah, we could probably do this. That's our evac zone. Uh, oh, we got some guys with us too. What do we got here? Hetzer, Drillson, Hunter, Bandit. Well, I thought there was data. Cover the agent by securing the facility. I thought there was supposed to be... On the way down, it said it's your choice of whether you want to go after the data. I thought there was data here too. I thought it would have been up there, but I guess not. So they got two lances down here. Ready for orders. Um, um, is not a word. Where you're trapped, man. Yeah, you guys have to reserve. Guess you got to reserve. 
Master Tactician Reserve. Yeah, Lear's going first. Uh, gonna go on this side. I want to stay at range as much as I can with these guys. Now, uh, Fist of Dorn brought up a good, uh, um, good possibility, and that was going with one lance that's long range fire support, and then a second lance that can close with the enemy with uh, some more uh, like close range weapons and stuff. It's a possibility, but uh, the thing is, is with the sheer volume of a lot of mechs on the battlefield, my fear is like if we get into a battle of like with 20 mechs, let's say, and we only have four guys forward. They're going to be focus fire down to nothing, probably. So that's, you know, even with the fire support, that with them firing at only four guys, it's going to cause huge problems, I think. Um, so that's the reason why I'm hesitant to kind of go that route. It is kind of a solid tactic. If we were facing, if it was like 8 on 12, you know, 8 on 15, maybe. But with some of the bigger battles, it's really iffy whether or not you want to move in close to use close range weapons. Now some of the close range weapons can pro provide you with lots of damage, lots of good accuracy, um, but because you're in close and it's like two to one, three to one, if it's like 16 mechs and they can only see four of yours, it's like four to one odds. Like you want four guys firing at each of your mechs? I, I don't know. We're gonna get our armor stripped real fast. Now if we were running ECCC, sorry, ECCM, it might help. I don't know. I'm just kind of worried about trying it and then just getting pummeled to nothing. But it is a possibility. Most likely in the next series, that's I'll be doing things like that. I'm going to be trying a lot more experimental uh, stuff in the next series for sure. Uh, also too, there's um, been news. Apparently there's a uh, relatively stable alpha build for 181. Uh, for heavy metal now for rogue tech so um, I'm gonna wait till it stabilizes a little bit they've had to, to turn a few features off like the um, um, online uh, galaxy Oof, hit your own buildings the online galaxy is not working so it's all basically uh, client side unfortunately well I don't want to say unfortunately because that's not really gonna affect our next series the way that the uh, the inner sphere looks um, what I've got planned, it won't matter. It's, we're just, we're not, it's not really about flipping planets. It's a little, little bit more about story um, of a group of people. So uh, that's not such a big deal, but, you know. You know. All right, let's get... This is Ost War, eh? Ostrak. All right, what else do we got here? Pegasus. Okay, we got good eyes now. Let's just tab through everybody here. So, that's the Ost War. Pegasus. It's pretty much guaranteed to hit whatever I'm shooting at. It's crazy. Look at this. Like, why would I want to get close if I can if I can target like this? So, I was a Clint 2C. Self-propelled artillery. Maybe I'll take this guy out. Uh, Balak. No big deal. Chiqueta. So he's got Pervier Smalls and Parvel Arm 10s. No biggie. Uh, where's the self-propelled? Um, sure. So we still need to work on getting the Arrow Thumper mech up and running. That's another thing I want to do. That might be an op option for the other Direwolf. It's not really meant to be that kind of mech, but it could be. We could set it up that way. With the weight and the speed, um, we could strip some of the armor down uh, and kind of go that route. I have no idea what the Balak's got on it. I'm kind of tempted to want to get rid of this guy too. Energy and two missile. Well, I can multi-target with this guy too, so let's do that. Um, my main guy can't multi-target with. I'm going to go against you and you. 
And we'll go this route, see how we do. Oh my god, that rhymed. One down. Two down. Thank you. We'll like it very much. With these guys out of the way, we can focus on stripping legs and stuff now. I mean, these guys aren't tough by any means, but once again, we got we chose a lot of salvage. So I want to try and maximize that. Like, if we can get a good chunk of Ost War pieces. I don't think we've got any Ost War pieces, but if we can get a few of them, we can sell them off. We're, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna need sea bills. So. Commander. Unfortunately, we got AOE weapons. Really doesn't help us out much. Um, what do we got back here again? Self-propelled artillery. That's a kill. Oh, he's got thumper. 56 armor on the front, eh? Uh, let's multi-target this. Oh, you can't. Clint's got full armor. 2C, huh? Ostrock, two ERs. Let's see if we can see what we got here. Two ERs. This guy's got an LB-10X and a pair of ERs. Thumper. Three ER larges. They're inner sphere larges, though. ER medium clans, light tag. Yeah. Sure. Let's let's hammer the Clint. See if we can make them run. Yeah, thanks for showing up for five points. So Goofy's going to split fire. We'll target the Clint and this guy back here. The self-propelled. We should be able to kill the self-propelled without our problem, I think. So Goofy goes on 16, so he's pretty darn slow. He's just going to stand there, eh? Another five. Five points. I'll take five in my crib every time. <laughs> my grandfather used to say that all the time. We used to play cribbage a lot. And uh, if, he, if he ended up getting four in his crib, he'd be like, I, I'll take four in my crib every single time. And I'm like, yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> I'll take as much as I can get in my crib every single time, please and thank you. Forget the four. Forget the four, I want more. Okay, what do we got on this guy? 88%, eh? Uh, let's split it with a, um, we're gonna go you. You. And we're gonna go this route. Let's leave the barrage. Oh, it makes me want to shoot at somebody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go this route. Fire on oh, you barely got him. Nice job, though. Soften up that Clint. Ooh. One for the scratch. See ya. Okay, support lance is gone. It's nice having those vehicles off the field. Not to worry about them now. They're ganging up on this cicada. Alright, uh... Start working on salvage here. That is a heavy mech, so... Oh, le right leg is destroyed, though. I didn't think we got it. But we did. Okay. A little bit of a flanking maneuver. I'm receiving you. Lilo Dallas, multi-pass. Take out this other guy's leg, please. Or this guy's other leg, you know what I'm saying. Okay. 
You're going to regret that. I just painted this thing. Who do we have left here? Don't they have a full lance? Or do we take out... We took out one, two, three, four, five... How many vehicles did we get? Are we who are we missing? Reporting. Uh have no doubt it will be done. Let's just shred this Clint. Sorry, buddy, but uh can't be wasting my time now. We want Oswar pieces for, for the dollars. We don't want Clint pieces for the dollars. Critical hit. Nice shooting, buddy. That's the problem with missile mechs, is you can't pinpoint really well. Well, hopefully we do a little better in the next next mission, although what do we have? What do we have next mission? We've got that guy's just gonna stay there, huh? Orders. I feel embarrassed, embarrassed to shoot that guy. But we're gonna pummel. Let's finish the Clint up. Target See ya. Wired. We've got the Zeus with the rack. Tango down. Got the second archer. We've got the Hades. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the two uh, Grand Summoners. Okay, there's the Shadowhawk 2C. All right. I knew we were missing somebody. Light damage, Commander. Wow, you got seven of them. Impressive. Even without the AMS mech. I do, I do think we're really going to need that on the next uh, mission, though. How are you doing, buddy? You don't look so hot. Turn your other leg towards me. Oh, you... Just gonna make it hard to hit. Just making it hard to hit you. What's up, boss? Alright, let's dust this guy. Uh... Gonna leave the ER mediums off. Roger that. It's not gonna survive this, I don't think. Oh, he did. Solid connection on that one. Put it hang in there, buddy. Yes, Commander. Can you get around to the front of that uh, Ost War? You can. Not the best positioning, but Let's go. we're not under heavy fire, so we're okay. Let's get in here. How much you got left? Four in the leg, eh? Well, those two should do it. Roger. Yep, there you go. Looks like I only just left torso destroyed. destroyed as well. Wow. You're brutal, kid. Yeah, it's not going to save you. Awaiting orders. Um. Let's go this route. Confirmed. You know, there's a uh, fine line between maximizing salvage and like just taking forever to finish a mission especially when you're running a series it's like I could spend all day trying to just do nothing and <laughs> just strip legs but if we can take it quickly great if we can't well F it just get rid of them he's an infiltrator He's an infiltrator. 
Now you moved, you didn't move. Yeah, hit everywhere but the spot we want to hit, pretty much. <laughs> Enemy met. Critical damage detected. I didn't know the Osts had uh, Royal Heatsink kits. I thought they were like a newer version. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, what do we got? We don't have anybody left on our side, do we? No. Wait, don't we have, uh, no, we don't have. Well, see ya. What do you think? Good to go. Can you get down in there? I don't know if Goofy can get all the way down in there. See if we can get an ER medium range. We got tons of resolve left. Let's go after this guy. Just do it this way. On ah, one hit. Don't think it was a leg hit, but it was a hit. Oh, there we go. Not enough to destroy the leg, though. Enemy that was a lot of damage. There's more damage than we put on the Ostwar. Can you? You can't get down there. Oh well. Okay, let's switch out the HE. I don't want to blow this guy up. Leave these off. I think they'll reach anyway. Yeah. Just going to pummel this guy a little bit in the side. How much has he got left in the leg here? Not much. Actually, you know what? Let's just see if we can get that leg. Uh, let's just go with the sixes. I don't want to completely wreck this guy. Nope, not enough. Come around the front. We'll go after that other leg. Uh, hopefully we get lucky and get both. All right. How about neither? Guard a critical hit. Come on guys, pot shot those legs. Nope. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Okay, Doc. Now, how much resolve do we have left? Still a bunch, eh? Oh, yeah, tons. Let's go this route. See if you can take... Wow. This leg. On it. There we go. Well, there we go. Yes, Commander. Throttle down. And that will be it. Standing by. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. Yeah, that was pretty simple. The there it is, folks. And it's ready for retrieval. All right. Well, we didn't make much on the drop, but we'll get much a lot on salvage, I think. Crappy XP. No big deal. All right, Ostrock, all the Ostrock pieces. Only one Ostwar piece, eh? Wait. Ostwar is 65. Ostrock's 60 tons? We're going to take all three, because we can sell that thing. Uh, ER large. Do we have any ER large? We've got one. What else do we have down here? Light tags, LRM-10s, micro pulses, thumper artillery. We got the sawed off thumper though. Good good price for that though. Tracking, we got tons of those. Well, not tons, but enough. Core is 270. No, it's not as good as the, oh, we got an XL here. Gonna drop that in because we want, may want that for C-bills. Enhanced imaging, we've got one still, don't we? We don't have any. We don't have anything to put it in though right now. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go this route. We do need the sea bills. That's what this is all about. Hopefully we can get some thumper ammo out of this. We've only got one. But I think we're a ways off before we get that. So let's just confirm this. 
So we got the Chiquita piece, ER medium, that's useful. Core we can sell. Ferro we can sell because we've got a ton of this already. Oh, we got two, so. ER AT oh, we got ATM ammo, that's kind of good. SRM streak, meh, all right. Okay, 32,000. Meh. Could have been better, but could have been way worse. So it's not too bad. All right, let's go to uh, the command center right away. Actually, first of all, let's have a look here. Go back to the mech bays real quick, storage. Just put that awestruck together. Ferrofibrous armor, eh? Bays. It's kind of a weird looking mech with these kind of circular arms. But, I don't know. I think it looks better than the tabletop model, that's for sure. Okay, let's uh, refit this. Let's just see what it's got. Yeah, nothing really. Alright. See ya. 741,000, beautiful. Alright, we got a couple things. A couple other things out of that. Oh yeah, we got the... Uh, you know, I'll sell that later. The core we can sell later. So we're halfway to our financial report. Uh, let's go right to the co command center here. We're going to take the uh, cease and desist. Let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage. We get a little bit more rep. With Actually, how much can we get with... We'd have to go 1 of 7. That, will that get us four skull, though? I don't want to miss the good opportunity for good salvage, though. So let's accept this. We'll worry about getting more rep with them later. Okay. Let's flush you guys out. Alrighty. Alright, Hellion, you're up. And Gundal. Mastodon. Warcourse. Goose. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Alright. Zeus, uh, the B is the spall linered. We, we want Gundal in there, I think. Uh, Mastodon, you are running the second archer, uh, which is this guy. Uh, so well, actually, worker, uh, sorry, workhorse will drop in the archer. Grand Summoner has got, what do we have in this guy again? Oh yeah, the uh, double shot at PPC. Want to go this route? Probably. Let's ju let's just do this. That's probably good enough. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Sound like somebody blew up. Only wolf is a dead wolf, huh? Well, shit. Looks like they got some good formidable defense. Should be fun. That's the base, huh? We got nobody with us? Good. Um, just slows the game down. Heavy turret. Oh, Hades. Hades E. Standard turret. The Q Gar. Grand Summoner Prime. What else do we got back here? A Griffin and a Zora. All right. That side. Okay. Yeah. Let's work it on getting some good ranged attacks in over here, guys. There's a direct line of sight on somebody. On who? Wait, is it the building we have a direct line of sight on? It is. Uh... 
Well, turrets can't move on turn one, so let's just drop some LK on it. And here I thought we were going to shoot something. Well, you know what I mean. Super shoot it. Super sharp shooters shooting shots. Super shots. Well, they got a support lance too, which means they must have two lances there. Where's the support lance? Oh, right here. Ah, trying to sneak up on us, eh? Yep. Ah, no eyes over there. Is this our, uh, yeah it is, okay. I was hoping that this was our AMS mech. Do 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 Just gonna hang out up there, are you? Is he on this is he on the building we got? No, he's not on the building we gotta destroy, okay. He might be stuck there though. Wonder what we got over here. Waters? Waters? Buster now. On my way. Double time. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, this would be beautiful for like a thumper and a uh, an arrow mech. Just wreck all this stuff and not even have to get close. Although I may have to like not do that. Just to make it fair. Standing by. I like it when the game is balanced. I don't like it when it's just I'm there. You're, you're constantly OP. I don't mind being OP for a while, but to have it be constantly like that. Oh, it's Sniper, eh? Yeah. Didn't think that was going to be enough. So you got the Sniper. Streak LRM. Alright, he has to see us. Para thumpers. Ooh, he's got to go too. Ultra 20. Alright, now we're doing with that guy. He can't see us, so. We're not even anywhere going to be near anywhere range for that guy to do any damage to us. Not before he's dead, anyway. So I'm thinking we're going to split fire on this next one. I think we'll go third. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should just take out this turret. It's 120 armor. We'd have to drop everything down on it, probably. Or LRM 70. Depending on what our chances to hit, we'd have to drop everything on this guy. That's Thumper. What was this guy against? Sniper? High explosive. Yeesh. It's not very nice. Well, I think we take out the double thumpers. It's most, probably the best way to go. Uh, maybe I could drop 15 on the other guy, though. I guess it just depends on the chance to hit. If we drop in 55 on this guy, and this guy takes 15, he's at 44. It won't be enough to kill. We'd have to drop a 20 on this guy and hope they all hit. Somebody's got a chopper. They probably got a gunship or something in this support lance. Yeah, somebody's not moving. It's fine by me. Stay still, man. Oh, there we go. Svantobit. Well, that weren't nothing. Sure weren't nothing. Twerent nothing. 
we could wreck the Svanta a bit, but I think the artillery is probably a bigger threat. What do we got chance to hit here? 42, huh? I think we drop it all on the double. 35. Yeah, we're dropping it all here and hopefully, hope we get lucky. Well, we have to hit with over half. Or do we? 70 times 4 is what? 280. 35% of that is 70. That's not going to be enough. Um, let's go this route. Yeah. I think that should be enough to take out the one turret anyway. Yep. We wouldn't have got the other one. That's fine. We'll be able to apply a little bit of damage on this guy. Oh, we can kill him. That works too. It's a lot of crew compartment crits. It's one thing I learned from playing War Thunder. Tankers, man. I, I don't know. I don't know how those guys did it. Watching the uh, the shell penetrate the vehicle and where the, the shrapnel all goes, watching people get shredded. It's like, I, I don't know how... You watch... I gotta say, as far as the inaccuracies of, of uh, actually, you know, tank combat were, the, mo the movie Fury, for being, like, kind of understanding the psyche of being in its inside a tank, I think is probably one of the best movies I've seen for that. And I say inaccuracies because, you know, when the Tiger uh, Tiger 1 attack their, the Sherman column, firing at the back vehicle first, no. It would have hit the Firefly first, or sorry, the, the, uh, it would hit the Fury tank first because it knows that that's the threat. It would kill it, and then it would just shoot, shoot the tank at the back and then finish the rest of them off. Now, you could argue that the, that the Tiger, the guys were inexperienced, but if that's the case, they wouldn't have been by themselves. And the second one is, um, you could argue that, well, maybe the Tiger didn't know the Fury was the was the uh, um, the 76 millimeter or the uh, large uh, cannon, um, um, like the long barreled. So it was is it long 75 or is it long 76? Whatever, Fireflies were 76. I know that, but um, you could argue that you know he just couldn't see it. But he had plenty of time to see them. They were moving so slowly along that road. Plenty of time to know what he was doing. So that argument just kind of falls by the wayside. Alright, let's see if we can see some more stuff up here. Yeah, we got some guys down the road here. What are we looking at? Arctic Cheetah, Ares, no gunships, Shadowhawk, and Thorn. Okay, we're not really worried about those guys. Uh, but what we will do... Oh, is that a that's only a building hit? It is. I guess we're killing somebody over here. Shadowhawk. Arctic Cheetah. Let's go after you. Well, Barrage is pretty low, eh? I'm hoping the Barrage will spill over onto the vehicle. 51. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, man. Did we kill the vehicle? Yeah, we did. Nice. Wait, we got supporting guys? Wait, those guys in the base are our mechs? Wait, what? Wait, what? These guys are our guys? Nova, Mad Dog, and a Crab. So the guys that dropped in the base are on our side? What? I'm confused.
Uh, we move forward, I think. That's your target. 15%, huh? Well, soften it up. Not bad. Anyways, yeah, the uh, in that last battle, while it was cinematically beautiful, um, it was just really ridiculous. The infantry pushing the tank. They'd have had plenty of Panzerfaust to put through that thing. Or even a Panzer Shrek. For that matter, just go around the damn thing. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Shoot the track off, go around it. But regardless, I mean, you can argue about movies day and night as to what's what. Oh, we forgot to put the AMS on overload. I was wondering why we were getting so many missile strikes. What is this guy here? That's the Grand Summoner Prime. Okay. Uh, you got a mad dog going to take care of? Wait, who's, who's this guy? The crab. You want crab for breakfast? He's right in the middle of the Nova and the uh, Mad Dog. Let's see if we can get the tag in there. Looks like we hit something. It's going down. God, the wanton destruction. Yep, somebody's stepping on a vehicle over here. Can you go? Pretty far. Let's get over here. Who do we have eyes on now? Loki, we got eyes on this turret, which is the heavy streak LRM. Let's remove it. Uh, oh, we got the bra. Uh, These guys are moving away. Okay. Uh, those guys will go to B. Let's put the barrage on B as well. And I'll put these guys on A. That should be enough to take the turret out, I think. Okay, okay damage against the thorn. Beautiful. How many did we get? Just one? You have got a turret to take care of. It's been causing us a bit of a hassle over here. 35 still, huh? Well, I think we got enough now. Come on. Oh, somebody's got an AMS. Won't matter though. That turret is gone. Sure is. That sounded very matter of fact. That turret is gone. Alright, three buildings left. Handful of mechs. Let's clean this up. Go home. Wait, who was that?
Where are you going? Trying to make it back to our lines. Yeah, you know, I think there could be plenty of other different types of missions. The attack and defend allows for, you know, a little, you know, different aspect like, you know, you could have a, how we're you supposed to do an escort mission. You could have like, you know, save like, a, you know, save the trap lance. So there's like a lance of mechs behind enemy lines that are being attacked. You've got to break through the line, save as many mechs as you can and get them to an escort, like a, uh, a um, hmm. escape point. You know, that might be kind of cool. Alright, let's push these guys a little bit. Um, wow. It's a lot of SRM6s. Let's not let you use them. Oh, he's got the... Uh, Large improved heavy lasers. Well, let's hope that's a CT kill. Okay, firing. That'll be harder. Not that much harder. Okay, nice. If there's a large improved heavy, I'm taking it. I think uh, I know I said before the ER large was my favorite weapon in, a in one of the last series, and then I was convinced away that the Rack Five is probably better than the uh, the uh, ER large. But I'm liking the large improved heavy. I got to say, even though it's got a ton of heat coming off it, 84 damage, um, or eight, I guess it's just 80 damage for uh, four tons and 52 heat. I think it's pretty darn good. I think it's only three slots too. It's like not a lot of space either. Leaving a lot of room for heat sinks. But the Rack 5, I mean, honestly, is a single weapon plot. If you had to choose a weapon to build a mech around, the Rack 5 is really the weapon to do it with. I don't think there's any argument there. Uh, do you want to chase these guys? Can you... You can finish these guys off by yourself, probably. This guy decided not to move. He's just too scared to move. Wow. Alright, let's clean this up and go home, guys. Let's clean it up and go home. One turret and a handful of buildings left. Some mechs. It's okay salvage here, too. I really hope we get that large improved heavy. I was hoping that this uh, Mad Dog, this Vulture, would have a... Uh, um, better weaponry on it than SRM-6s. Oh, he's moving forward to get himself killed. Nice. Oh, wait. Where did he go? Oh, over there. I thought he moved up here. Alright. Well, maybe not. Take it back. Alright. Let's apply some heavy damage. Sure did. Ready for orders. Uh. Well, wow, this one's almost gone. We should be able to multi then. Yeah, that's fine. Multiple targets confirmed. Nice. Brought us down, Commander. You sure did. This guy doesn't have much left. I'm here. Let's supply the AMS to the guys that are facing the SRM six boat. Because that's probably a good idea, and I can't get a shot at him. Direct fire. Oh, I can from here. 
Thank you. You sound bored. Affirmative. All right, I'll go over there. Sorry, are we are we are we putting you to sleep? There you go. God, I love the look of those things. I don't know. I think we have. I know we got a couple of Mad Dog Two parts. I think, but I don't know about regular Mad Dog parts. We'll have to see. I'm hoping to keep better notes in the next series. Ooh. Gonna make things easier for me, I think. So what do we got left up here? Nova. I know I've got Nova parts. I got one part to think of a Nova. Look at you. You're pissed you took the barrage in the face. That's what it is. Nobody barrages me and gets away with it. What do we got left over here? The Hades. And the Nova. And then we've got the Arctic Cheetah and the Shadowhawk 2C. So this guy will die for sure next turn because he's like decided to go point blank with the Grand Summoner. I think we can bring... We should be able to kill those two buildings next turn without a problem. The Nova should go down without a problem. This guy, because he's so far away. Oh, nice shooting. Is that the AC-20 turret? I think so. Blowing up their own city. Nice shooting. You give him hell, man. This guy's being a shit. Can't get the can't get a shot in that Hades, eh? Just really hoping I can get over there. Uh then I guess we go this way. We get the Shadowhawk? We can get the Shadowhawk. Sure. Look how fast this thing is too, right? The Grand Summoner. It's got no space, but it's fast as hell. Yeah. At least we got something on him. Move over here. Come on. There you go. There you go. Don't shoot your own guy in the back, though. Nice. Got past the armor. Got past the armor. Sorry, guys. I'm a little stir-crazy tonight. I had a Hell of a day at work today. So much shit I had to do. Nothing worse than working on a job and then someone going, Oh, yeah, by the way, you need this. You got to add this, too. Oh, wait, we got more lines to add. Here, can you add this? Can you add this? By the, well, by the way, the deadline's still the same. So I tell you that. You can still do it, right? Uh, yeah, sure. We haven't got much to dish out on the uh, Nova, so let's just see if we can do some good damage to this turret. Beautiful. That turret's gone. I wonder if the armor, the uh, internal structure on these turrets is misleading, because I think once you penetrate the armor and you start hitting internal structure, a lot of these things have ammo, and the ammo may cook off, and maybe that's why they go down so easily. Oh. Yeah, right. You. You! Can't get both these guys, huh? Alright, might as well warlord it.
You know, for a medium Mac and a lighter heavy Mac, those MRMs, if you got good targeting, God, they're devastating. They're so light. The units are so light. I know they're minus one accuracy, but for the weight, the damage that they do, you know, the fact that one ton of ammo is like 200 rounds. They're good weapons, I gotta say. Yeah, give them the what for. Should have shot them in the back, though. But I guess you're being fair. Fair enough. Alright, workhorse. Um, yes, no one's in a position we can't get a direct line of sight on him. Well, uh, we could double kill these two buildings here. How much does this one have? A hundred. Let's just get rid of the building so we're done. And then... See. So, this one's got a hundred. So... Those two on A, that to B, that to C. Let's do that. Beautiful. There's an AMS. Oh, it's this guy's AMS. That's what it is. I'm not bugging out, man. They've only got three guys left. Plus a turret. Oh, no, they don't have a turret left. We killed it. That's right. Spent a bit trying to come and steal my kills. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just gonna make me angry. My kill. It's gonna add to the tally at the end of this. It's gonna be interesting to see what the kill board's like. I haven't even looked at the kills for the mech for the mech pilots. I think we're only gonna go with kill permission ratio. How many kills permission? That guy's hiding on you. I honestly, I don't blame him. I do not blame him. One, oh, he's not hiding that well. Affirmative. He's not hiding that well. Okay. Um, we want parts, so we have to go after... Come on. The leg, which has got a hundred and three. I think if we use these, it's going to be overkill. Let's go this route. Uh, let's go to four. Let's just make sure we get it. Oh, we don't get it. That works too. Hades to this guy. Wow, 6.5, huh? Really? Well, we'll take the 42. God damn, you got the kill. That's a kill. How many kills has she got now? Like, for orders. They don't really count because it's... Oh, well, like, I guess they do count, but it's like... They're kills that are like... You know, mechs wounded, just fire at it. You get the kill. Max wounded, fire at it, get the kill. We're wrecking the city! Wanna go for accuracy, probably. Yeah, probably. Beautiful. Scored a critical hit. You did. Order. See if we can finish him up now. I want to. I'm just. I don't. I don't want to wreck the Nova with missiles. 
This guy's got no back armor. See ya. Oh! <laughs> Meltdown! If you got light armor, man, don't carry those infernal rounds. You're just gonna get yourself killed. Oh, the Griffin's finally joining the battle. Don't wreck the mech that I'm trying to get, guy. I need two pieces from him. We'll get at least a million sea bills for that. Cougar. Dude's got guts, man. He's like ridiculously overheating and he's still shooting. Well, right torso, engine destroyed. From It's all from overheating, it looks like. Well, this was definitely a successful day. We made our f enough, we'll definitely make enough for our financial statement. We still have that, uh, I think it's like 325,000 um, C-Bill uh, XL core that we can sell. So that puts us up at what? 1.6 million, and then if we get a million out of this, which we should get, I think, with mech parts, we should have enough to put together either a Mad Dog or a uh, Nova. I'm hoping to get at least two parts of this Nova. These assholes don't blow them up on me. Commander. Maester Dawn. At least these guys pretty much stood and fought. Okay. How badly Dan? Oh my God. Ninety nine though. Hoping that's enough. Yeah, that was enough. That was a critical hit. Come on, just bail out, buddy. You know you don't want. You know you don't want to be here anymore. Okay, let's maneuver around. Okay. Go after this. Firing. I'm really hoping he just bails out. Left torso destroyed, damn it. Reporting critical hit. If we core him, does that mean we only get one piece? <laughs> Meltdown. That guy likes riding the red line, all right. Come on. We got a couple of medium lasers left on workhorse. I think we can probably get into play here. Good to go. Yep. Could try for a headshot, but that won't be enough to kill, though, I don't think. Not unless we got both of them. God, he's still got so much here. Maybe we get super lucky. Nope. Oh, he's panicking, though. Maybe he'll bail. Come on, Zar, make him bail out. Engine destroyed. Damn it. Alright. Contract payment increased by 35%. 212,000. We did take a bit of damage from the artillery, so... Because I forgot to turn put the AMS on overload, but not much we can do about that. So we did get two Nova parts. Now, I do know we have one part kicking around, and I don't know if we've got enough to make a Mad Dog, though. That's an iffy. Uh, AP Gauss rifles, one ton, 390 meters. Just thinking about the build for the, uh, oh, wait, we want the large improved. Definitely want that. 
I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. Let's take these. Okay. Grand Summoner part. Hades part. Clan armor. Clan pharaoh. Oh, that's nice. Patchwork. And then junk. Okay. 44,000. Not bad. Not bad. Having that armor that uh, increases the cost of repair really sucks, but it does give us extra weight, so it's kind of good. Yeah, I mean, we're like minimum time in repairs here. It's going to be a few days when we can get back into the fight again. Um, so next episode, probably going to take one of these wolves. I might take the Pony Express, the Four Skull Ambush Convoy against Clan Jade Falcon. That would be a nice one to fight. Uh, hot landing is still that's a kind of a good one too like there's a couple of here like these two three and a half skull missions this is against two that's against wolf this one's against we don't want to do too many against wolf because we've already dropped now from the star down to the circle here dropped our faction where we want to go back up again so pulling off a, we've only got two wolf missions left on this planet which kind of sucks this one's against jade falcon this one's against uh, the pirates we can do that one that's a solid mission to do the hot landing is a mission we can do and then pony express I think probably and then we'll jump to a new system like I really want to get access to these Jade Falcon missions again but you never know I know we said before I'm not gonna bother but it's really wolf and Falcon around here so yeah all right, let's go and have a look real quick before we end the episode. Have a look in the mech bay. I think we can assemble that Nova now. Let's have a look. So, yeah, Nova S. We've got enough pieces here. So let's ready the S. Right, we got one part of a prime. Beautiful. That mech you wanted is back online. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a look. We'll see what it's got. Not a lot. Fire control system heat. Minus 5% weapon heat generated. That's kind of cool. That's... Uh, it's already in, embedded in the mech so we can't get it. Unfortunately. This would have been nice earlier on. So we don't get a lot out of this. Patchwork, some jump jets, some double heat sinks. Well, we need the clan double heat sinks. So, I mean, not bad. A lot of medium pulse lasers. All right. Well, scrap it. Scrap it. Should get a million? Oh, yeah, it's worth a million. Beautiful. All right, so there we are. We have almost got it. Well, we will have our financial report uh, because we got that clan XL engine that we can sell. Um... And I'll get the mechs in shape, and then when we come back next episode, we'll take on something else. Don't know if we'll go after that four skull mission. Maybe I want to put a little bit more. Whoops, not store. Command center. Maybe I want to put a few more sea bills in the bank before we decide to do that. So we could do hot landing, and maybe robbery. That'll put us roughly at the same. I mean, unless we go, we're since we're doing okay for sea bills, we could always go uh, rep with this one. And then take a couple of missions against Wolf. Like these two against Wolf. That's a possibility. We'll see how it goes. Alright, but I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.